little internet friends. What is up, what's good? It's your girl Ashley and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, what I'm going to be doing is sharing with you a sweat proof, foolproof, waterproof, take or swimming on the first date makeup look. Now when we say take or swimming on the first date, we don't mean literally. Now this video is just meant to be kind of like a sweat proof makeup look in more of a hubris way because guys always say, you know, that's why you take or swimming on the first date because they feel that us girls don't look the same when we don't have makeup on as opposed to when we have makeup on. To be real, some of us don't, some of us do. I mean, it is what it is, who cares? I personally wouldn't even wanna go swimming on the first date and that's not from a makeup standpoint, that's from the standpoint of your girl can't swim, so I would literally need a life vest, some arm floaties, I'll be doggy paddling. So if I was embarrassed about anything, it would be the fact that I can't swim, not because I don't have makeup on. So, I mean, that's that. Honestly, this video is just meant to be very humorous and very funny. Do not take it literal. If you guys do like the makeup look, then recreate it as you please. It doesn't have to be with waterproof products. And that is that. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Click right here to subscribe, and we're gonna get into it. All right, you guys, for the sake of timing in this video, I've already moisturized my face. I just used a little bit of the Belief Aqua Balm, which I have been loving recently. And I also applied a little bit of lip balm onto my lips. I just used the Glam Glow Pelt Mud for a little bit more hydration. Now that that's out of the way, I'm gonna go in and start on my eyebrows. And I'm gonna do my brows a little bit differently today. Instead of doing more of a very structured, over-defined brow, I'm going for more of a feathered, very natural looking brow. So I'm gonna go in with Benefit Skimmy Brow. This is in their new packaging and pretty much is just a tinted brow gel and it's gonna give you more of like that fiber eyebrow look if that makes sense what I really like about this product is that it is tinted so it's gonna leave a tint behind your eyebrows giving them more of a natural look so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the product and start gently brushing it through my brows about midway I'm not gonna start in the very front of the brow I'm gonna start in the middle and I'm just going to brush it and what I like to do is take this product and brush upwards to create more of a feathered look. And as you can see already, it's just filling in all of those sparse areas, all of those gaps. And then when I start to get to the tail of my brow, I will start to brush it to the side like this. Cool, so now that I have that PC look going on with my brow, I'm gonna go in with this. This is the Precision My Brow Pencil by Benefit. What I'm gonna do with this pencil is I'm actually gonna focus it on the areas of my brow that need a little bit more attention. And I'm just gonna create very fine hair-like strokes. Nothing too crazy. Like I said, we're not really going for more of an over-defined brow. We're just trying to fill in certain areas of the brow that were missed by the brow gel. Perfect, so now that the brows are done, I'm gonna go in and start priming my face. Today I'm using the Milani Prime Perfection Hydrating and Pore Minimizing Face Primer. And I don't know what it is, I just really love this. It's gonna hydrate my face at the same time while also filling in any of those slightly enlarged pores. So I'm just going to apply this all over my face. Now that my face is nice and primed, I'm gonna move on to color correcting. I'm gonna color correct just the slightest bit, just because I do have a lot of hyperpigmentation going on. So to do that, I'm gonna use the NYX Color Correcting Concealer Palette, and it has a ton of color correcting shades in there. I'm really gonna focus on the shade right here, which is gonna conceal the redness. So to apply the concealer, I'm gonna use the Sigma F75 Concealer Brush, and I'm gonna take a little bit of that green concealer, and I'm gonna place this around my nose, also on these little hyperpigmentation scars, some of this acne that I have right here and this little pimple that I have right there. Once the product is on my face, I'm just gonna blend it out ever so slightly with a blending brush. I'm just using the Sedona Lace EB13 and I'm just gonna move this brush in circular motions. You don't wanna swipe, you really just want to ever so slightly blend. I'm gonna go in with foundation. I have two of the Revlon Colorstay makeup. I hear that the Revlon Colorstay is a very waterproof foundation. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna dot this all over my face. So I'm just gonna take my JD Weedy 180 flat top brush and I'm gonna push the product into my skin. Honestly, you guys, I'm not even gonna lie, I forgot how full coverage Revlon Colorstay was. Now that our face is locked and loaded, I'm gonna go in with concealer. Today I'm using the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. This one claims to be full coverage, creaseless, and also waterproof. I'm then gonna take this concealer and just dot it over some of my blemishes. With my ring finger, I'm just going to gently blend the product out because the warmth from my fingers is really just gonna help melt the product into the skin, giving it more of a natural but still seamless finish. 
So to apply this powder underneath my eyes, I'm just gonna go in with a cosmetic sponge that I picked up at Walgreens. I'm gonna dip this cosmetic sponge into the powder and I'm just gonna bake it underneath my eyes so that way everything stays in place. We're now gonna set the rest of our face with the powder. Today I'm using the Skin Transforming Face Powder by Maybelline, which is a fairly new product. I am in the shade 50 Natural Beige, and I'm just gonna apply this powder onto my face with a Morphe G7 brush. Before I blend any of that powder away, I want to add a little bit of shadow and stuff to the eye. So as a base, I'm gonna be using the Color Tattoo 24 Hour Crayon Pencil by Maybelline. And this one is in the shade Bronze Truffle, and I'm just going to put this all over my eye eyelid very generously then with a synthetic blending brush I'm just going to blend the product out cool so after blending a bronze truffle all over the eyelids I'm gonna go in with this shadow right now it's called creamy chocolate and I'm just gonna apply this in the very outer V and a little bit into my crease this looks so crazy right now but I promise you It'll look better once it's blended. The next product I'm gonna go in with is an eyeshadow by ColourPop, and this is their Super Shock Shadow in DGAF, which is don't give a fuck. And I'm gonna use that same synthetic brush, and I'm gonna apply this all over the lid. And we're going for more of like a blown out bronzy eye, so I think that is good. With the same blending brush we've been working with to apply the shadows, I'm now gonna go in with Moonshine by ColourPop, and I'm just gonna pop this in the very outer corners of my eyelids, giving it more of a deeper look. And then I'm just gonna blend it inwards into the DGAF color. Once you have your color placed exactly where you want it, you wanna go in with a synthetic blending brush. This is the Morphe E27, and you wanna go alongside those edges and just blend everything out. You want to make sure that the brush is synthetic because ColourPop shadows tend to work a lot better with synthetic brushes as opposed to uh, human hair bristles. Now that we have our eyeshadow in place, it is perfectly okay to dust away that powder. So I'm going to be dusting everything away with the 660 Luxie Precision Foundation Brush. For the lower lash line and to bring all the shadows together on a flat definer brush by Sigma. And I'm going to place this closest to my very lower lash line and smoke it out the slightest bit. And to smudge it out and make it a little bit more smoky, I'm going to go in with the Morphe E36 pencil brush. I'm going to go in with the Rimmel Waterproof Eye Definer in Nude, and I'm going to use this to line my very lower lash line. And for mascara today, I'm going to be using this mascara that I recently picked up from the drugstore. This is the Voluminous Butterfly Sculpt by L'Oreal. So I'm just going to take a thin coat of this. For bronzer today, I'm just going to go in with the Rimmel Natural Bronzer. This is their waterproof bronzing powder. And I'm going to apply this to the perimeter of my face to give me a little bit more color, a little bit more definition. Also going to apply a little bit of this to the contours of my nose. Then for highlight today, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Master Strobing Stick and I'm going to apply a little bit of this to the highest points of my cheekbones. After that, I'm going to go in with my Physician's Formula Shimmer Brick, which looks just like this. And I'm going to take my Morphe M510 brush and I'm going to apply this directly over top of that cream highlight. Also gonna place this on my cupid's bow as normal. Down the bridge of my nose and on the very tip of my nose. For my cheeks today, I decided to go in with the Milani Baked Blush and this one is an oldie but a goodie and it's in the shade Berry Amore. To apply my blush, I am using the Morphe E3 brush which I absolutely love for applying blush to the apples of my cheeks. So today I'm going to go in with the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipsticks, which I absolutely love. So to start, I'm going to go in with Pasadena, which is a little bit more of a mauve tone shade. And then I'm going to take Bel Air, which is a little bit more of a nude shade. And I'm going to pop it directly in the center to give the look a little bit more of a contrast. Now with a little bit of Bel Air, I'm just going to pop this in the center. I'm going to be applying these Misha Lashes by Coco Lashes, and to adhere the lashes to my eyeballs, I will be using Duo. The last thing I want to do is set my makeup with some makeup setting spray. Today, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray, which is one of my absolute favorites. I'm going to pop the cap off, give it a little bit of a shake, and then I'm going to spray it in a T formation and then an X formation. 
So once my face is sprayed, I'm just gonna wait for it to completely dry. And this stuff right here is literally like hairspray for your face. It's gonna ensure that your makeup does not budge, which is exactly what we're going for, for kind of like this poolside, full face, take your swimming on the first date makeup look. Feel me? So one, two, three. Is my makeup still on? Eyelashes? Huh? Not coming off? Okay, let's do last. So you guys, this is pretty much what my makeup looks like after the pool. I did some laps, I did some dips, and I kind of was doing like a lot of jumping up and down. I was trying to take photos for Instagram and stuff, so my face was constantly in the water. I want to say I was in the pool for maybe about 30 minutes or so. My lip color, which is by Ofra, stayed perfectly intact, which obviously I already knew because it's a long lasting kind of like liquid lipstick. I will say that my highlight still is going strong, and I did uh, prime or prep my highlight with the Maybelline Master Strobing stick and then I went in with the physician's formula powder over top and I feel like the reason that it stayed is because I applied a cream product before I went ahead and applied the powder as for my foundation I do feel like it held up really really well the only areas of my face that was rubbed off is kind of like around my nose area and I feel like that has a lot to do with the sunglasses that I was wearing in the pool when I was taking pictures. As for my brows, they didn't really last all that long, but I feel like if I would have used a pomade, they would have lasted longer, but I wasn't really going for more of like a sculpted brow. I wanted something that was a little bit more airy, a little bit more feathery, a little bit more textured. As for my eyeshadows, the ColourPop ones that I applied, they did not last at all. They wiped completely off. The only shadow that's left on my eyes are the Maybelline Color Tattoo 24 Hour Crayons. So these are definitely waterproof, water resistant. I really love them. If I had to do things a little bit different, I would definitely skip out on wearing falsies. I am wearing my Misha lashes, my Coco lashes, which I completely ruined. And the reason that I wouldn't wear lashes is because these Misha lashes are very thin and when they get wet, they stick together, which is why they kind of look like little spidery lashes. I will say that this duo eyelash adhesive is going strong, very water resistant. Uh, my eyelashes are not popping off in any area. And yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. If you guys like these tested out videos, let me know in the comments down below so that way I know obviously also do not forget to subscribe to my second channel Ashley Marie vlogs where I upload almost weekly vlogs it would mean the absolute world to me if you guys subscribe to that channel and I don't think I have anything else to say except I love you guys thank you guys so much for watching and until next time I'll be sure to catch you guys all on the next one peace No, I have not tested it out yet, and I'm sitting here telling you that it's foolproof, sweatproof, waterproof, take her on the first day, make blood. <laughs>